Um, sick behaviour. Oh! Hitting the left line. Bit of an e-drop there. Whoa! Oh my days. Welcome to a very action-packed video. Today we are starting the video with a session on the hardtail Santa Cruz Chameleon. We have an umbrella, check it. And it is broken with the UK weather conditions. But, today's pretty bad, but we're gonna jump this and we're gonna give it the full waterproof test today. Still feels nice and grippy, so I'm feeling confident. We are then gonna move on to put on a brand new set of wheels on my new 26 inch downhill bike. Today is the day when we move forward with the build. Still undecided on the colour scheme. Everybody said do not paint it green. No taken, I'm not painting it green. These are necessary in the garden right now. And for the end of this weekend, we're hoping to have everything wired in the garden. But today we're just sessioning this feature and dialing the downhill bike in, which is gonna be awesome. A manual test. I have just put a brand new brake on the Chameleon. New pads, full new bleed. So not a new brake, but a full new bleed and stuff. Um, I was surprised that they felt quite grippy for that run, actually, because they're a lot less chunky than Max's Minions. Take two! is super wet and i'm riding wooden features in the garden in december that is what is that is when you unlock winter mode on your bike right there take three let's go let's. Oh! i'm going to ask you to get involved mid video you know what i'm like i am always in the comments as a youtuber as soon as i live the video i answer as many comments as i can Basically, today I need some more input. So, thanks to yous, I've found loads of mesh. Thanks to yous, I've found a better staple gun, okay? So, the next challenge is, I'm thinking for the next mod of doing a corkscrew roller. Like, like it's a bit like a North Shore, but a corkscrew one off the side of the rolling. Do you think it's a good idea to have another jump line heading this way? that you can interlink in and out of and hit different features and cross lines or should I keep it all one way? That's what I need to know in the comments below today. I have another question. What colour, if not green? Quite a lot of members, subscribers and mountain bike riders were letting me know that it was a terrible idea to do it green. Okay, I have listened. Check out the bike. Now I need to know what colour? We are spraying it mid next week. So, 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 so crazily good. I cannot tell you how good that feels to ride in the wet. That's crazy. Before I die in the wet, we are somewhat done for today's video on the hardtail. Now we're going to switch things up. We have options right now. We can watch some e-bike content from Gisborne or we can go and put some wheels on this bad boy. And I think I know what we're gonna do. Let's put some wheels on this bad boy. Here we have the bike that I'm riding from 2020 on the steep downhill and the free ride sections. Um, basically, to comment Sal, if you've missed any of the previous videos, I'm searching for a current color to spray this frame and I've bought some wheels which we are going to be putting on the bike today. Once we've got the wheels, all we need is cranks, seat and seat post, stem and bars, brakes, pedals. So there's probably going to be one more build video after this video. And then, then hopefully a riding video for the new year. It's going to be quite cool. I'm very, very excited. So, I'm going to move this out the way right now. We have Hope Pro 4. 26 inch wheel which is I think boost and non-boost but we're going to find more out about that today we also have unopened 
love a good unboxing. Oh wow. Oh wow. We have the rear wheel for the new bike, which is basically Shimano Drive Hope Pro 4 12mm axle, 150mm fitment. The big question is, does it fit in the rear of the frame? That's what I'm a little bit nervous about. So, there you go. As you can see, 26 inch. Sounds really cool. Hope Pro 4 Shimano rear wheel. These are both Fortis 30, which is going to be quite good for some other accessories that we have for the bike. So, for now, let's whip the rear wheel out of the frame. I've been thinking maybe a lilac spray colour. I've been thinking zebra. That's, that's something else we've been considering. I've also been considering like khaki green and sand as two different options. I did change my mind on tan wall tyres and I've decided inner tubes I've decided to run just black tyres I've stuck to Minion DHF and DHR which is rear and front um, can't use your drinking please excuse the noise basically these are super tacky so one thing I'm not the best at is downhill stuff which is why I'm building a downhill bike to get back into with smaller wheels. Hopefully I'm more comfortable. So I'm building super tacky downhill casing and 2.4 on the rear and a 2.5 on the front in super tacky, which is going to be awesome. They feel super tacky, would you believe? We've done both wheels. We have DHF up front, DHR on the rear with Shimano. I have a question right now to everybody watching the channel. I want to make this bike single speed with a, a hanger a single speed cog and some adapters. Now, on the Chameleon, I've got a single speed rear hub, but it is actually a Hope Pro 4 single speed hub. Anybody who's watching, do you know whether I can run single speed on Shimano rear cassette? Okay, so the rear axle is a T55, which is quite crazy because I've never used a T55 on a rear axle. I am, for today, I'm just using it at the longer length for the axle. There we go. Love that noise when something just works. Basically, I'm running it in the long back end setting right now because I need to rearrange this dropout, but we're gonna be spraying the bike anyway, so it's probably not really worth messing with that too much right now. I'm just going to kind of put the bike together. See how it feels. Not feels, but looks. Might do a little standover with no handlebars as well. Getting ready for the sesh. Okay, now we need to do the front wheel, which is going to be interesting because we haven't actually measured this thing up for boost or non-boost. I actually have a question. Does anybody know where I can get a brake six bolt disc brake spacer? Because I'm gonna need one because the hub is I think non-boost with boost spacers. Could be wrong. Help me out if you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, enjoy the front wheel installation. That's all you need to think about that we are installing the front wheel right now. Hey, look at that. That's sick. It's actually a small downhill bike. This is crazy. No brakes, no cranks. But I would like to be quite confident in saying that we are well on our way. Wow. Looks quite small. I think it's gonna ride really well. Wow. That is gonna feel like a jump bike. I'm trying to visualize how this is gonna feel. Nice weight. Somewhere between my Nomad and my e-bike, I'm guessing. Super tacky tires. 
single speed with a hanger, cranks next, bars, stem, seat and seat post, and we are good to go. So, thanks for watching today's bike build clips. Enjoy some clips from Gisborne on the E-Machine a couple of days ago. Hitting the left line, a bit of an E-drop there. Whoa! Oh my days! It's super icy, foggy, snowy. So we are just doing a bit of a crawl alarm right now. Just to check it out. Like I'm literally riding through ice. But, oh, that was actual ice. That's sketchy. Okay. Oh my God. Look at that. That is... I shouldn't go going down. There's actual ice on that. Okay, this doesn't look much more promising. But at least I'm giving it a go. Out, having a ride. Whoa, it's sloppy. Sloppy. Oh! Oh my good god. We're going for a blast. Yes! Going for a blast in this oblique conditions day. Okay, this is where things get interesting. It gets a little bit darker through the forest. The thing I love about Gisborne is it's quite rocky. Quite a lot of type, kind of, not loose rocks, but just fixed rocky ascent. Descent, should I say. Oh, sideways on the berm. Little gap into that berm. Hit! Hit! So good. Okay, we're going into a little double drop here into a berm. Sick behaviour. Oh! Gisborne! Slippery Gisborne! Good. Any e-bike riders watching right now, let's have a chat about e-machines in the comments below. What bike have you got? How often do you get out and session it? Starting to consider a dropper post. I've got a cable dropper for the e-machine. Any suggestions? Look at the tree gap. What? Any suggestions? Would be fantastic. Check back in on Sunday for a bike park build video in the back garden at Mainland and make sure you smash the like button, turn your notifications button on and subscribe to the channel if you're not. Thanks for watching. Peace out.